study finds a shocking discovery that Yellowstone eruptions are more frequent than previously thought they were. This is by Tom Fish on Express UK. Yellowstone volcano could annihilate an entire continent when it next blows. A seismic study reveals Yellowstone volcano, which is of course, as we know, a super volcano, and it sits on the ring of fire, occur more regularly than previously thought. Yellowstone Park seems very peaceful, tranquil, a wilderness with soaring mountains and green forests and idyllic lakes. But this area, the area beneath the surface and the totally different picture emerges. Yellowstone Caldera is the largest volcanic system in North America. It's packed with enough potential power to wipe the entire continent off the map. The Yellowstone supervolcano has apocalyptically erupted three previous times with super eruptions. It's had a, a shorter, a smaller ones since then, of course, but the super eruptions were, the latest one was about 640,000 years ago. It has since had a smaller one about 70,000 years ago. Volcanologists believe enough time has since elapsed for subterranean pressure to have begun to build up again. Now, and should an earthquake take place in the area, a catastrophic chain reaction could occur within two weeks. And to make ma matters worse, uh, researchers have now found that a weak spot beneath Yellowstone, which could be the potential epicenter for a volcanic apocalypse, exists. That is the Norris Geyser Basin, full of the geysers that we see, and uh, very Intriguing is that the fact that the webcams have gone down, they've been taken off, and they don't know when they're going to be operating again. These webcams were on 24-7. We did post a video concerning the fact that uh, a few days before the cameras went offline, they were following and uh, imaging this area with floodlights at night. And they never used to have floodlights at night. So they were obviously observing and uh, recording something. And it, it was uh, uh, increased activity that they were recording, and increased bulging. And all of a sudden, the um, live cam, the webcams went offline. But anyway, that's for another story. Now, the weak point is, as we said, the Norris Geyser Basin. The um, Volcanic eruptions are thought to create the two million year old Huckleberry Ridge and the researchers results describe a volcanic system which is potentially far more dangerous than even doom mongers had feared. Okay, so it's not fear mongering, this is actually what the scientists are claiming. Things are more dangerous than what fear mongers are, are afraid of. Yellowstone is more active volcano than previously thought, and this research will help recalculate the chances of another deadly eruption, they said. Before scientists divided the eruption into two, it was considered one of the largest eruptions known to science. Ben Ellis, who is the co-author and postdoctorate researcher at Washington State University School of the Environment, says... The Yellowstone supervolcano previous behavior is the best guide of what it will do in the future. He says, this research suggests explosive volcanism from Yellowstone is more frequent than previously thought. The new ages for each Huckleberry Ridge eruption reduce the volume of the first event to 2,200 cubic kilometers, roughly 12% less than previously thought and is now known a second smaller eruption took place 6,000 years later. That first eruption still deserves to be called super, as it was one of the largest known to have occurred on the whole planet. Skies stretched, stretching the entire continent were blackened with thick, choking debris. And to put this into context, the epic 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption produced one cubic kilometer of ash, and the even larger Mount Mazuma 
6,850 uh, 6, years ago produced 116 cubic kilometers of ash. Now the researchers used high precision argon isotope dating and they created high precision conclusions. The radioactive decay rate from the Yellowstone rock samples served as a rock clock for dating samples and has a precision of 0.2%, so that's pretty close. Darren Mark, who is the co-author of the seminal study, managed to further refine the technique by 1.2%, and even though this sounds like a minimal difference, it actually has a profound effect in geologic time. Dr. Mark said, improved precision for greater temporal resolution is not just about adding another decimal place to a number. It's far more exciting. It's like getting a sharper lens on a camera and it allows us to see the world more clearly. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.